Hey, hey, how we doing? How we doing? This is Dennis Smith, the alternate timeline. Welcome back. This is another anime reaction. We are doing Demon Slayer episode five today. I'm excited, excited about it. It is popping off right now in this show. So the demons are here. And I'm excited to get into uh, what's next. So, um, yeah, just want to say thank you for tuning in with me each and every week on this journey on these anime watch alongs and uh, I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, if you could super smash that like button, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Uh, and also go ahead and follow the socials. We're running a, a giveaway on the socials right now. That's at the alt time on Twitter and IG. Uh, the giveaway is the, the pin tweet and the pin post on our profiles. Uh, so go ahead and participate in that. It is a, uh, I think, any 80th anniversary DC special edition comic. So um, definitely go ahead and check that out and participate enter the win we love doing our giveaways and right now it's a dope comic so definitely go and go ahead and participate um yeah and also i just want to let you know i usually do like the reviews in the beginning here like the intro part um but i always have it broken down in the chapters so if you want to go ahead and skip along uh straight to the reaction you can do so right down on the little ticker below uh always like to have that for you guys just in case you don't want to hear me blue blob so uh <laughs> yeah anyways we're we're here for demon slayer reaction reacted to hell's paradise that episode six is out already uh go and check that out if you would and yeah we we should have a good one in store for us a lot of things are set up well we have two demons in the village and i think that Conroji is on her way Tokito kind of strayed away from the path. Maybe he might get mixed up with the other demon we haven't seen so much. But uh, yeah, last episode, Ta uh, Tanjiro held his own man against the the guy that splits into four emotions, which is really cool. I thought the four emotion demon is um, like that power is really really dope to me. And I like the the four different personalities he has. It's crazy because all four of them can take on one person. Uh, Nezuko was holding her own. Um, and, and we, we got, you know, I love when they give us the inside of Tanjiro's mind, like him thinking through the battle and stuff and coming up with uh, ideas and using his creativity to get the upper hand. He's probably the most creative demon slayer out there. I don't know if there's another person that's more creative than him in thinking on his feet, even catches the demons off guard with some of that stuff. So uh, pretty cool. Uh, we are aware of Genya. Genya is what we believe is half demon, but he was stabbed and you know a couple times. Uh, he he was stabbed and and hit really hard a couple times, and he's still alive. He keeps like murmuring some things under like under his breath, but um, he he's still alive. So he's got something in him, uh, you know, just like the whole thing with the tooth with uh, Tandro. He flicked the tooth at Tanjiro. Tanjiro caught it, and you know later he came up to him like, "Yo, I got your tooth or whatever." <laughs> and um, he he had his teeth back already, so he he's something not human, right? But yeah, it was, it was a lot of action in the last episode, a lot of fight scenes, and Nezuko was doing her thing. But the angry emotion demon, he he was able to get the best of Nezuko, and. and shock her basically and put the staff right through her neck and all it was crazy uh so tondra had to walk in on that uh tondra tried to tried to turn up a little bit and he did and then the guy with the the damn leaf the leaf on the stick he came back and he like blew them to the first floor and the pressure was just so so great that it knocked tondra and, and nezuko out so they're like ko'd right now kanoji's on her way Tokito is with Kotetsu, so we don't really know what's, what's about to happen. And then at the very end, uh, the other demon started unleashing like his minions, these these demons with like the faces on their back. So uh, that's all in the village. The village is now aware that they're ringing the sirens and everything. So um, yeah, that the action is here. Like there's nothing more to talk about. We we into this episode. I'm gonna stop right there. Let's get into it, man. And just a heads up, I've been sick as a dog this whole weekend. Uh, it sucks. Got the sniffles, got a cough. 
uh, struggling through it, but we're gonna, we gonna thug it out here and I'll I'll edit anything that sounds bad. So uh, just, just bear with me here. And thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Let's have some fun. All right, Tokito and Kotetsu. Kanamori. Oh, so Kanamori is still alive. I did not know that. Okay. Good stuff, Tokito. Are you the one called Kanamori? <laughs> Has my sword been prepared? Damn. <laughs> Give it to me now. Damn. That's why I came to the village. I've done with your sword, of course. I'll give it to you. Kotetsu said, aren't you glad? You should be thankful. You know, Togito just cold. Tandra asked me to prepare a sword for you. And he wanted me to understand you. So I looked up who was the swordsman in charge of you and... What? He was interrupted by Kotetsu. He was about to say something, though. He was definitely about to say something. Intro time, intro time. <laughs> Episode 5, Bright Red Blade. No fish monster here. There's a sword for you inside. Take it and help the village chief. He said, no, I can't. Oh! It's coming. Oh, another vase. Uh-oh. Is this the main one? The vase just rolled out of the bushes. I don't like that. I'm amazed you noticed. Interesting, we could sense that. He could sense a vase coming out of the bush, but he, we couldn't sense the other guy creeping up from behind. And the... uh in the room with Tandro? That's interesting. But he sensed this out in the woods, out in the forest. I think this is the main guy. He said, you are Hashira, aren't you? Yep, that's him. Is this miserable shack so important to you? Straight face. Ah, oh, he's scary. We're under attack, it's the demons. Oh, they just took down the dude. They just took down the guy that was ringing the bell. Look at this. Oh no. Oh no. Man, it's a it's a village full of uh, swordsmiths, man. They can't fight for real. They know how to make swords, but they don't know how to use swords. They don't know how to swing them things. All right, Condor G. Absolutely, absolutely. Good entrance. Good entrance. Sorry, I'm late. Okay, swift with the blade. Swift with it. She's swift with it. It's a nice entrance, man. We was wondering when that entrance was going to be here, man. She was dumb late, bro. Dumb late. She should have been here two episodes ago. <laughs> Somebody said, I almost forgot because she's cute. Hashira is really strong. Yeah, she's no joke. Trying to see them skills. Slicing them up. Easy. Effortless. Why well, he got four or five vases on his back? That's a chief. Oh. That's a chief? They about to kill the chief? The corpse members who have been stationed to guard the village were killed easily. Damn. 
the demon so these some, some demon slayer course members were here guarding the the village and they're all dead easily can't let the chief the most skilled person in the village die as well Let's get it, Kamaraju. Oh, that's what her sword is like. I did not know that. I did not know it was one of those things. Almost like a ribbon. So what's with her sword? Did Chief Tetchin forge it for her? So somebody forged the hell out of that sword. She got, she got to make it look cute. Love breathing, first form. Shivers of first love. Oh wow, what an effect. You know my heart doesn't skip a beat to those who unnecessarily hurt others. Okay. She did her thing. She did her thing. Down goes the demon. Somehow I'm happy to be hugged by a cute girl. <laughs> he all right. <laughs> he said I fell on my head too. <laughs> he did a hug too. <laughs> Please hold my hand. They're getting silly. <laughs> he said don't interrupt. Yokata. Thank goodness. I know that one. Yokata. Are we back with Tandro? What is this smell? Oh, Nezko got up. Damn that staff, man. Okay, Nezko. Ouch. Ouch. All right, Tandro, get up. Here we go again. I was knocked unconscious by the that fan demon's attack. Here we go. I know my brother's pissed already. <laughs> Tandro doing too, spending too much time on his ass, unconscious or can't get up, cannot move. Need you to get up, my guy. Nesco must have woken up first. All right, he's up. All right, we're moving. Now he's carrying Nezuko. Damn. Think. Think. I must find a way to deal a heavy blow to the enemy. An attack that makes them take time to regenerate. Okay. Now die. Damn. Weave. Weave. Damn. Nezuko's turn. Oh, that was cool. The slow motion. Nezco grabbing the, the sword. That was pretty cool. And this, this demon is a problem. He's an absolute problem. Look at them. With this, we can get a better view. Now they have nowhere to hide. That's the whole village? Damn. She held on to that sword, though. Do they not see him? When the smoke clears, it'll be their last. They don't see him. What is Nezuko doing? Just give her the sword. Alright, back to Tokito. You can call me Gyoko. Mind if I have a word before I kill you? Damn. <laughs> Tokito said, why are you two behind me? <laughs> Tokito, you are these people's protector, whether you like it or not. <laughs> you gotta protect these two. He, why are y'all behind me? <laughs> he said, I'd like to show the three of you my creations tonight. Oh, man. This guy is one of those proud creators. Like me. <laughs> creations, what are you talking about? Here's the first one. All he did was clap. That was like the first little emotion I've seen Tokito have. Look at this. Like, look at the a little bit of emotion from the guy. That the eyebrows raise. Yeah. What the hell is this? Oh, I call this Swordsmith's Agonies of Death. Damn, it's like a whole thing of swordsmiths that were crunched up in the vases. 
Please take a good look. First off, the dirty hands with thick calluses of the swordsmiths. I put this work in front on purpose. Damn. <laughs> Damn. And they're still alive. Like they're all like alive still. That's tough. Uncles in there. Ah, uh, this guy is a sh he's a showman. He's a showman. He likes to here's my creations and all that. He he likes for you to to see what he's created. So even the music, you hear the music, almost like a almost like a clown show, like a at a uh, at a uh, what do you call those? Almost like if you were at a uh, carnival or something. That's what it sounds like. And the clown music. Da, 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 da. I left the, the max on to convey emotionlessness and absurdity. Jesus Christ. The way he's talking about his work is crazy. <laughs> that's, that's terrifying. So of course that's not all of it and this is the best part. If I twist the sword here... hurts all of them wow so isn't it wonderful whoa a reenactment of their agonies uh oh uh oh uh oh I've had enough of your shit you bastard okay Woo, we got up out of that vase real quick. Bro said, I haven't finished explaining. Oh, he's mad now. That's how they are. That's how they are. You can't, you don't let him finish explaining. He's pissed. Did he travel between vases? Oh, shit. Okay. My pickiness is that vases. Ugh. He's slashing all the vases now. That might work. We'll see. He got away again. Go after all the vases. The next one's over there. There's got to be a pl there's got to be a trick to this. Dude said, "How dare you cut my vase?" He's getting pissed. That was a work of art. Where does the vase come from? All right, Tokito's thinking. He's thinking it through. A muscle head like you couldn't possibly understand my work. Bro, you're the muscle head. Do you have like six arms and you're jacked? He's he's got more muscle than Tokito. I don't know what he's talking about. He said, but wait, if he's always running, he's different from the splitting demon. He'll die if I behead him. We'll see. You might have to behead him and the vase or something like that. Uh oh, what is he doing now? Thousand needle fish kill. What the hell? Oh no, they're going after them now. <gasps> Tokito took those needles? No! You just get in my way, so go hide. Oh no. What a big time move from Tokito. What a big dude's, dude's come a long way. He feel like he shouldn't even be here. Oh man, and he needs his new sword. Him to step in front of those needles like that? Man, he couldn't do nothing else. He couldn't. He couldn't swipe them or nothing. He had to take it. Tough. That's tough. Here they come again. See now he's swiping them. You look ridiculous with all those needles stabbing your body. How do you do? Has the poison begun paralyzing your limbs? Oh, not another one. Not another poisonous thing. Come on. They, they don't be fighting fair, man. Every single demon's got some kind of poisonous trick. Come on, just fight head up. <laughs> fight straight, man. It is really ridiculous. You save worthless lives and then lose yours in a worthless place. Damn. Whether you're there or not, it makes no difference. Uh, Tokito's having a, a flashback. I feel someone once told me the same thing. Who told him he was worthless? We about to fight. 
we about to fight. But even still, you're a Hashira. I'm very excited to make an art out of you. Uh oh. He said, shut up. It's your chatter that's worthless. Blood Demon Art Water Prison Pot. What the hell? Death by Suffocation is stylish and beautiful. This dude's got so many tricks. The chilly feeling when having a blade to your neck. Yeah, he can't even, he can't slice out of it. Ah, he stops their greatest technique, which is their breathing, all their breathing techniques. He can't breathe when he's. When he's uh, suffocating like that. Damn. So he can't even really get any power. Interesting. Damn. These demons are like well equipped to, to battle these Hashiras, man. That's rough. Destroying a village will be a great loss to demon hunters. Alright, back to, back to Nezuko and them. I'm not sure what Nezuko's doing. Okay. What's the plan here? My sword is burnt by Nezuko's blood. Okay. Okay. Exploding blood blade. Ugh. And, th and this is why Nezuko and Tanjiro are just a great duo. This is why they are a great Tag team, they do things like this. Exploding blood, exploding blood on the sword. Let's go. Was his sword a deep black color? A black blade like mine? Just now my sword turned red as well. Okay. But right now my sword is like his. Let's get it. Oh, that's. Giyu, that's the homie. That's the homie. That's the homie. I have to repay them. The hopes and feelings of everyone who has lent their strength to me are the same. Okay? It's to protect human lives. Uh oh. Tandro! Is he facing him head on? Tandro! So you can't beat me with cheap tricks. A burning bright red blade. The angry one knows. He knows something. It belonged to the swordsman. It belonged to the swordsman who con cornered and almost severed Lord Muzan's head. Uh, there goes the scar. There goes the scar. Its image is overlapping. What? Like that? Like this? You can't block that. Head dance? What just happened? Bro! What just happened? No way. That can't be it, though. There's no way that's it. But look at that. Look at that. Wow. Oh, they flexed. <laughs> oh, they flexed with the animation there. Look at the head of the dragon, that's crazy. Their heads are clean off right now. But what's next though? Because the work isn't done, right? Because he's going to try to split, but it's going to be weaker splits. So you gotta he's got to do his work now. It's, that's what it feels like. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, Lord. Bro, what? I have been thinking about that one strike. The sensation of that moment, my breathing, and the way I used my strength. My whole body felt like it was on fire. And my forehead as well. 
but that was three of them there's still there's still a fourth there's still the uh there's still the blue one which i forget the emotion but it's he's like the uh i forget what they call it he's like not the sad one but he's very like remorse or something like that i forget what it is but he's the one that's like fighting genya i'm pretty sure i get it now i can do this only one more all four heads must be cut at the same time. Oh, Genya done did it. <laughs> Genya did it. Let's go. He cut the head of the fourth one. Let's go, boy. Oh, Genya's demon. Genya's demon. Why does he look like that? You know why he looks like that. Put it together. Ooh. Is that it? Oh, no. That episode was so quick. The last episode was so quick, too. Damn. Damn. I almost want to go back and watch that. <laughs> I want to go back and watch just that, that final cut because that was crazy. That final cut's crazy. I'm going back. I hope you guys don't don't mind. I'm going back because I gotta rewatch it. I have to answer to their feelings. You can't beat me with cheap tricks. All three of them sitting there ready. A burning bright red blade. The angry one started to put it together like, oh, we've seen this before. You telling me Nezuko and and Tandro's little combining attack does this? That's crazy. Oh, that was crazy. Oh, that was crazy. And then he knew right there he done messed up. You done messed up, big fella. Again. Tadro. Yo! Look at that image, it's crazy! Nah, that's wild, man. And we're saying Genya done did the other boy at the same time? Wow. Tandro stepped up in a big way. In a big way. Hopefully this demon's done. Because we haven't seen his body disintegrate, right? That's one thing, we have not seen this body dis disintegrate. The episode ended before anything else. So he still may not even be dead. Of course, he might have like another level that he can go. It's crazy, these demons, man. I wish that was the final cut, though. I, I'm hoping that was the final cut. And then he sees Genya. Genya got the blonde tip. Look at Genya, though, with the blonde tips. Look at that. Oh, this outro is kind of cool with, with Tokito. Yeah, Tokito like smiling and stuff as a youngin. That's pretty cool. All right, man. That's that's it. That's oh, wait. Hold on. Skip the outro. Oh, that's just a silly. Oh, they asked her how she she's how she sheaths her sword. Yeah. <laughs> they silly for that, man. That's an episode right there. That's an episode. Is that episode six? Yeah, so so Tokito and Kotetsu they go save Kanamori, um, and then they run into the Vase Demon. The, the Vase Demon is serious. He has a lot of people messed up. <laughs> so the people that he like takes inside this this vase, he like conforms them and and he makes art out of it, right? So he's very like a showman. He's he likes to be an artist, um, and he's very like that. He's a creator and. Uh, you know, he's talking to Tokito and he's he's like, hey, and then Tokito cuts him off and he gets upset. <laughs> you know, it's one of those things. So uh, he's he's interesting right now and he seems to be a problem. He's got his little minions running around the village. Kanroji showed up, which is great. Uh, had a nice uh, entrance with her her sword. Her new sword is nice. She's the love Hashira and her sword is pretty cool. And it's, it's like extends. It's like a, almost like a whip blade, right? 
and pretty cool pretty cool as you saw at the end there with the the extra little clip at the end how it like extends and how it comes back to her and stuff like that that's how she sheaths it um yeah she she's dope she was doing her thing very effortless and she seems to be a problem she's really strong the love hasha uh tokito has not been able to get any any good hits on on this guy with the vase this i forget his name uh gyoko gyoku um he hasn't been able to get any good hits on him which sucks i want to see the mist the mist breathing in action i want to see it do its thing right um because they show it off but he's 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 missing so yeah this gyoko guy keeps getting the upper hand on tokito one because he had to save kotetsu and kanamori stepped in front of them uh, these poisonous needles he's got needles all all in his body right now tokito and the demon says they're poisonous so another one of those slow slow bleeding out poisonous kind of kind of deals um and then he used one of his base and like it was like a water thing where he's now in this water bubble and he can't poke out of it so it's he's, he's he can't do his breathing in the water so tokito is trapped right now and we need some help we need some help over there uh because the attention most likely is going to turn to that demon um Tandro and and Nezuko were running and whatever and then the the other demon with the leaf basically messed up the whole house uh all in the rubble and stuff and Nezuko was grabbing onto the sword and engulfed the sword and her like flame like it's like blood flame or whatever and yeah so the sword went from you know black to red had the like the, the fire blood explosion on it and yeah and Tanjiro stepped up and did his thing. He did his thing. Uh, it was an amazing slash. Hit three heads at once. It was like in a like a dragon formation. It was pretty cool, man. I had to watch it twice. <laughs> I had to watch it twice. It was crazy. I was like, okay, there's there's still another one. Genya. You look over to the left, and Genya's over there, and he's beheaded the other one. And then Genya turns around. And he's showing demon demon signs, so it's crazy, which we were expecting. Uh, but yeah, he's got the the blonde tips on his hair. His hair kind of grew out a little bit, and he's got the, the he went demon on his demon, which is crazy. And then the last thing to note is that they haven't shown this demon like vanish yet. It hasn't disintegrated yet. So who knows if he's even all the way dead or what's going on there, or he's just got to regenerate again or something. I'm hoping that was the final slash, but they haven't shown him disintegrating. And, and if they're not doing that, I'm still kind of, that's going to be my mindset going into the next episode. It's like, all right, is this other demon dead yet? Um, and then we got to worry about Genya, see if he can control whatever is going on with him. So yeah, that's basically it. We need Kanroji to come help out uh, uh, Tokito or somebody to go help out Tokito. But I would love to see Tokito really do it for himself too um i feel like they're doing him a little dirty right now but yeah it's it's been it's that was a crazy episode a crazy finish right there very excited for that i was i was very happy about that sandro finally you know pushed through because we we sit there and talk about him a little bit like hey need you to get up my guy and do some things uh but he him and Nesco, man, one of the best duos out there. One of the best duos out there for sure. So yeah, man, what an episode. Thank you guys for tuning in with me, watching this episode with me. And um, we'll be back next week for sure, for sure. Tell me what you guys thought in the comment section below. How did you enjoy this episode? Uh, leave a like, super smash that like button. And subscribe to the channel for more. We'll be back next, next week. Hell's Paradise is out as well. My reaction to that. Go check that out. And uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for stopping by. Peace.